Hey guys, what's up? So with iOS 10 being out for about a month now, I thought it'd be a cool idea to show you an iPhone 2 on iOS 1 compared to an iPhone 7 Plus on iOS 10. So in here, you can see that I am on iOS 1.1.3. And what's crazy is that this operating system came out back in 2007, over eight years ago. Now, obviously, size-wise, it's an insane difference. Um, from when Steve Jobs was around until now, you can tell there's been a lot of changes to the iOS devices. But taking a minute to look at iOS 1 on the iPhone 2, you can definitely see that it still resembles the iPhone 7 Plus. Dock and everything's the same, it really goes back to the basics, and iPhones really have kept that um, basic feature forever. It hasn't changed so much, so you can definitely tell this is still an iPhone and how the apps and everything are laid out, uh, but it's really neat to see that there's no app store on there at all. When I first turned this thing back on after digging it out of the closet, I was like, holy cow, there's not even an app store. How did I function with this? The old school Safari, if you ever had an iPod Touch or anything like that, you probably um, remember how this page looked and the blue loading bar at the top was absolutely great. And it's also interesting to keep in mind that when this came out, it was only available on AT&T and no other networks could use it. But what's crazy is how little the design has changed. The notes icon, they're not too much different. The settings icons, they're really not that much different. Even the calendar, I mean, everything's tweaked a little bit, but it really isn't that much different. That's the crazy thing. Like it, you can still resemble each other. Eight and a half, nine years later, and these phones still look pretty similar as far as how they function. So yeah, the messaging app, obviously there's there's quite a few differences. Again, eight and a half years advanced technology, but they still look so, so similar. Like even the layout to the plus sign there, the cancel, the new message, everything's still there. The exact layout of the keys minus the bottom bar there, exactly the same. It's also weird to think that there's no notification center on here. There's no swiping up and down. There's no double clicking. I mean, it, it's just completely different. I think probably my favorite thing about the early iOS's was the iPod app. That's just so awesome because it was literally just said iPod before it turned over to music and then Apple Music. It just said iPod because this was literally how they announced it was an iPod and a phone. It's even more crazy the mail app hasn't even really changed at all. Like it's literally <laughs> looks like the same app. There's barely any differences. Like remove the little clouds there and you've got an iOS 1 mail app. So I've been playing around with this a little bit the last few days and I think one of the things I miss most about these early iOS's and devices is the YouTube app. That was like the coolest thing ever and it doesn't even work anymore. I was pretty upset about that. Connected it to Wi-Fi, it doesn't even load anything. Uh, it just comes up with no results and all that stuff when they discontinue the app. Man, if you remember how you could bookmark everything, oh, it was the coolest. All right, so I've got a fun little test here. We're gonna do a startup test, the 2G versus the 7 Plus. Old technology for the win. All right guys, that's all I have today. I just thought it'd be fun to do a quick comparison of the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone uh, second generation running iOS 1 just to see really where the big differences were uh, and how much things have changed over time. Not just in size-wise, but pretty crazy, pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe for more videos.